Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Chris and welcome to my channel. I'm a digital marketing guru and I absolutely love all of that type of stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics to track website traffic. And I know this is somewhat complicated to a lot of people. So for instance, you know, I have a website, right? Maybe it's a business website. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's an application on the app store. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's my personal vlog that I like to like write on and just do whatever. It really doesn't matter. So what uh, analytics does is it is a tracking software that allows you to kind of view who is coming to your website. And, um, this is widely used because number one, it's free and it's two, it's, it, it, it's very, you can, your business or your website should find it very valuable to see who's coming to your website, to see where they're coming from, to see how many people are, are viewing it. Uh, just whatever this, this data is huge to your website. And a lot of people, you know, have a website and they're like, well, does it get any traffic? Does it not get traffic? Um, anyway, so what you do is, uh, for instance, this is, this is my website. What I would do is I would go over to googleanalytics.com and it's really easy to set up. All you do is like, um, you have to attach it to a Google website. And once you're in it, um, what you do is just kind of like add your website. This is a old website I used to have on goldfish, just kind of like a super geeky website, a forum actually from like nine years ago or something. Uh, I'm not a geek. I promise I'm not a geek. Uh, so, and then what you do is you set it all up. And then, um, the hardest part of all of this with Google analytics is setting it up and attaching it to your website because you know, like, uh, what you have to do is go into your website. Let's stop this here a little bit and I'll share to you, like, this is my, my personal blog right here. This is a WordPress website. And what you have to do is you have to figure out how to attach the tokens or like the, the token to your website. This is the hardest part. And depending on, you know, because it's all going to kind of depend on which website builder you use, you know, like some of the common ones I believe are Wix, Squarespace, Blogger, WordPress. Um, there's a bunch of different ones and every couple of years they kind of like change up. It really doesn't matter what one you're using uh, because most of them have a way to attach the Google analytics, like tag to it. Uh, and the reason you have to attach the tag is so that the website, it can track everything. So then what you do, oh, and by the way, uh, and once you set it up, it may take you some time to set up. Um, but what's cool is once you set up, you can start viewing like who the heck has come in your website. And this is very valuable information. Um, and also what's really cool is recently, well, somewhat recently is they came up with a Google analytics app. So if you have Google, uh, or, sorry, I'm speaking wrong here. If you have a phone, which everyone in the world does, right? You can install the Google analytics app. And this is really cool because, um, you can literally, as you can see here, just click and see like who's on your website and literal in literal real time. See this real time number of users. It'll tell you who's on your website. It'll tell you what they're doing. It'll tell you what country they're from. Um, and again, there are some like, uh, competitors to use to Google analytics. Um, I think like, uh, I want to say clicky is one of them. Let's go like this analytics, analytics, analytics tools, um, analytics competitors. How about that? Sorry. I'm an idiot. Uh, you know, it really doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm even doing this, but Google analytics is the number one, uh, wide, most widely used because number one, it's free. A lot of the other analytics tools make you pay like clicky makes you pay. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, um, I don't use many of them because Google analytics works so well. One of the biggest downfalls was they didn't have a mobile app, but now they have a freaking mobile app. And I'm trying to see if there is, yeah, there's 130,000 reviews and they have almost five star review. See this 4.5 stars. Um, of course it's showing bad reviews as I'm here. This version of Google Analytics incorporates a dark theme, blah, 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 blah. You know, of course, with all these uh, reviews, people are just going to be like kind of crying about it and be like, oh, I can't set it up. And you have to, you just have to know that this setup process is not, uh, if you're not good with computers, this may be a struggle for you, if I'm being completely honest, just because um, someone like me that does digital marketing on all this fancy stuff, it's a lot easier and we do it every single day. But for the average person, this isn't going to be fun. And it, sometimes it can take a lot of YouTubing, just like how to's, you know, it's just like, how do we do this? How do we do that? And you probably will eventually get it. But if you need my help by chance, I'll throw a link to my uh, website down below and we can set up a time and talk about possibly paying me to help you. That's what I do for a 
living. So guys, you gotta hit me up in the comment section. Did this help you learn how to use Google Analytics to track your website traffic? I tried to keep it super easy and mainstream. You know, a lot of the other guides kind of like went super in depth, but I feel like you guys just wanted kind of like a gist of it. And uh, because the setup process, I literally, I literally have videos. I'll throw those in the description too, on how to set all this up on your WordPress website, how to set up a Google analytics account. I have all those videos in my arsenal below. So without further ado, guys hit me up. Let's talk Google analytics. I will see you in the next one.